Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and today I'm going to be ranking every single Ninjago character. Literally, like, every single one. I'm on TierMaker.com again, and I've got this tier list here, and somebody went in and put in pretty much, like, every named character to ever exist in Ninjago, so I'm just gonna go through them all one by one and rank them by how much I like them. This is not, like, a power rankings, this is not, like, whatever. This is just how much I, as a person, like them. If you disagree, let me know in the comments, but please understand this is my opinion. This is not objective, this is my opinion. But we have a lot of characters to get through, so let's just get started. Kai, I'm gonna say I love him a lot. He's, especially since the redesign, he has become one of my favorite characters. Originally, I probably would have put him here, but after the past two seasons, I definitely, like after, after SOG, he's definitely here. I love Kai. Zane is perfect. He has his ups and downs. I think the past two seasons has been the weakest he's ever been. But, like, seasons 1 through 10, he is the perfect character. I love his story. I love everything about him. Zane is wonderful. Jay, I'd say, is pretty darn good. I, I, pretty darn, like, I have four tiers to say I like them, so he's in the second most liked. Like, I like Jay. I think he's fun. I think he's funny. But he's not like Kyra Zane to me. Same thing with Cole. I think Cole originally would have been, like, right here. But because of the past three because of SOG and because of Master of the Mountain, I have a brand new appreciation for Cole. I think he's an excellent character, and he's a ton of fun. And he's just got a really interesting and deep backstory, and I love his powers and how they've expanded upon them. Cole's great. Lloyd's going here as well. Lloyd originally would have been, like, here as of, like, Season 7. But after the redesign, after the new voice actor, now after his arc in SOG through March of the Oni, I've really, really started to like Lloyd. I think he's a great character, and, yeah, I think his entire story with Harumi and Garmadon it was incredible in uh, SOG through March of the Oni, and I love Lloyd a lot. And then since then, he's been good as well. Nia I like. I know a lot of people hate Nia, and I guess this means she's my least favorite of the six ninja putting her there. But I don't know. I really love her in Skybound. I just feel like she's kind of inconsistent, right? Sometimes she's great, and other times she's weird. But I like her. I still like her more than I don't like her. It's just, eh. Wu's great. I love Wu. He's funny but he's also a really interesting character with a lot of like depth behind him and he's just a ton of fun it was great sensei garmadon eh... i honestly i don't like sensei garmadon like he was fine in rebooted and tournament which were the only two seasons he was in but i think garmadon works so much better as lord garmadon and not sensei garmadon so sorry he's gonna go there Masako is don't feel strongly either way. I know a lot of people hate her and she's not great. Like if she left the show for good, I wouldn't care as long as they explain it right. Like I've complained about how they don't explain where she's been. I I don't like that they don't explain where she's been, but I don't really care for her. She's not great. Ronan I like. I think he was at his most interesting in possession and then after that he was and, but though in Skybound he was pretty cool too, and then I don't really remember anything about Hands of Time, but I know he's in that too. I would like to see him again. I think Ronan's pretty cool. Skylar is good. I like Skylar as a character. It was it's really cool to see how her with Chen right she sort of broke free from her father and became her own person, and how she just went on to live her own life right. She's part of the Elemental Alliance, but also she just does her own thing. She runs a noodle shop, and I like that she's Kai's girlfriend. And yeah, they're. She's a good character. I enjoy Skylar. Dareth I love. This will be controversial that I'm putting Dareth above like Jay and Cole. I'm not saying he's a better character. I just say, I just think when every day I have on screen and it's not like the first half of Skybound, I love him. He makes me laugh. He's just so goofy and fun and he's great. Faith, love her a lot. She's an excellent character. I wish we saw her more because... <sighs> great. And I... I... <laughs> she was one of the best parts of Hunted excellent character. Mistake I liked, like, she was just a fun character before Hunted, but during Hunted it made me really love her as a character. She's just, the fact that she has the whole backstory of being an Oni and everything, like, it was just sort of out of nowhere, and it was really cool they took this older character who was there since the beginning of the show and turned her into something new. And just how she was like the old wise woman from the beginning, I just, she's, she's a lot of fun. Another controversial opinion, I like Clutch Powers in this show. People don't like him because they're like, oh, they ruined the character. That's not how the real Clutch Powers would act. But, like, if you go back and watch the original Clutch Powers, it's not that great. Like, it's very much a kid's movie made in 2010 was when it was made. 
So I think it's okay that Clutch becomes like this bum in Ninjago. I think he's fine and it's cool that he exists in the show at all. So yeah, he's going in the I like them tier. Same thing with Akita. She was good in Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu, but I really don't care if I ever see her again. Her whole thing about wanting revenge for the kidnapping of her brother was cool and how even though Lloyd recognized it saying she still wanted to kill the Ice Emperor because of it, that was cool and her backstory was cool, but I feel like her story has run her course and... I don't know. I, I would not care to see her again. Like, if she, co if she comes back, cool, but I don't feel like I'm missing anything by her not being there anymore. Borg is also going there. I, I like Borg. He's a cool part of the show, just having other characters that's, like, essentially Wu who knows technology, right? That's who Borg is. But he's just, he's a cool part of the universe. Pixel goes, and I don't feel strongly either way. I like her more than Masako. I'll put her there. But... <sighs> I don't know, I hated her when she first got introduced, but she's definitely gotten better since then. So if I take, like, rebooted Pixel and, like, average it with SOG Pixel, it comes to, like, middle. Because as a rebooted, I would have put her here, but she's grown on me since then. And I like her relationship with Zane. It's just, robot girlfriend is not my favorite thing. Echo Zane is perfect, and I really want to see him again. I love him. Dr. Julian, perfect, too. Please give us a Dr. Julian minifigure, please. And also, I'm noticing a trend in the perfect tier so far. <laughs> Scott, eh. His backstory is cool, how he was a video game tester who was the one who got Prime Empire shut down because he got sucked in and then because it was a missing, per missing persons case. They're so like, yeah, uh, Dyer, you can't make this game. But in the game, like, he didn't he didn't do all too much. He just sort of served as an exposition, like, just uh, telling the ninja, hi, this is how the video game works. Like, whatever. Okino is fun, though. Just seeing an NPC grapple with, oh, oh, hey, I'm an NPC. That was, it was interesting. It was an interesting concept to tackle, and I think Okino was really fun, how he got, like, really sad about it, and, and how he came around and decided not to help Unagami and to help the ninja instead. I think Okino was good. Soto was fine. I think he's a very important part of the Ninjago universe, just having this consistent villain that's been there since the beginning. But in terms of the character, he's just a stereotype of a pirate, like, do I care? Not really, but he's cool. It's cool that he exists. He's just nothing exceptional. I love Griffin Turner. He's my favorite elemental master. He could go up to here if we saw him more, but I can't really put a character we've seen so little of besides Echo Zane. Uh, Echo Zane we saw for like two episodes, but he was perfect and I love him. But Griffin Turner, we haven't seen enough of him for me to put him there, but I love his personality. Speed is such a fun element and yeah, he goes there for me. I like the Commissioner, too. I think he's another, like, just like Soto, I think he's an important part of the Ninjago universe, and I like having this consistent police commissioner character, but, again, I feel like they could do more with him, right? Um, he was, he really became a character in Skybound, and seeing him after that was cool, too, but, yeah, he's just, I like him. Like, he's not gonna go up here with these guys. Karloff's good. Karloff is just a fun personality, a fun character. I like him. Gravis, what did he, what did he do ever? Like, I have nothing to say about Gravis. Same with Tox. Eh. Bilobo, honestly, eh, I can't like I don't have a strong enough opinion on Bilobo. He appear, he talked in like one scene ever. Same thing with Ash. He didn't even come back in. Uh, he has a minifigure, but he still didn't come back in Hunted, which was weird because it was all the all the Elemental Masters who had minifigures except for Ash came back. I don't like Jacob. He uh he only appeared for like one or two episodes, but the episodes he appeared, he just didn't really do much, and I, eh, I'm not a fan of his character. Again, if we saw him more, maybe I would like him more, but we have not seen enough of him. Camille, uh, I like. She could go up a ton if we saw her more, but I think the element of form is really cool, and I like having... She was, like, I think the only elemental master who was genuinely, like, malicious. Like, she had... She was evil, and it was really cool to see her, and I hope we get a minifigure of her sometime. Shade I like, too. He was, like, he's just edgy, right? He just doesn't like to get along with people, and I think he was good in both Tournament and Hunted, and I think he's really cool. Nero's excellent. He's perfect in Tournament, and his part in Tournament is amazing, and Tournament's what makes me love Nero. He's cool in the other, he's cool in Hunted as well, but... He, I feel like he played a very important role in tournament and just showing how the mind powers work. It was pretty cool to see. 
Pale Man, uh, I have no opinions on Pale Man. He goes invisible and he, ha he talks like this. I, that's a really bad Pale Man impression, but he's got a weird voice and I don't, I don't care. Ed is fine. I, I, I guess I like Ed, but I wouldn't even say I like it. I mean, like, Ed and Edna, like, I think they're important. No, actually, no. Just because of Skybound and the pep talk they give Jay, I like him. They're both good. Lou is fun. He's not, like, the deepest, most emotional character, but he's a ton of fun, and he's really funny, and I love that classic episode where they go to visit, where Cole gets his true potential, and they go to visit Lou, and he tries to teach the ninja how to sing. It's just, it's really fun. Ray and Maya... Eh. Like, it's cool to see Kai's Kai and his parents, but I don't really care for them. Same with little Nelson. Uh, I, I guess it's cool to see a Ninjago civilian, right? Just to ha have some focus on just a random civilian, but he hasn't done enough for me to care about him, really. Pythor goes in. I love them a lot because he's just done so much. He was the main antagonist in season one, and then just seeing seeing him back in season three, like he was the best part of season three, and then seeing him, his change of heart in season four, all right? He didn't become good, but him being like, okay, I care about my people and I don't want Chen disrespecting my tribe like that. It was just cool to see Pythor and I think he's just a, he's a really fun character. Scales, I like. Not, not a ton to say about Scales. He's like the main serpentine besides Pythor and he was, he was good, but I don't feel particularly strong about him. Uh, Fang Tom, I love. Again, it, that's, this might be a weird choice because he does, didn't do much, but I just love the two heads talking to, at different times and he's fun like i'm sorry he's i know i've been saying uh, saying the same things a lot but come on this is like what a hundred characters that i'm ranking he's fun i like him he is fun and i love the two heads talking and, and how they have the different accents and how they it's just he's great i love fang Tom. and eh, scalador and Asidicus. uh i'm gonna say don't like for scalador and don't feel strongly either way for Asidicus. scalador's a cool minifigure, don't get me wrong, and I like that he is the... Actually, no. I don't feel strongly either way for either of them. I don't like how in Season 1 they're sort of just comic relief villains for most of it, right? How they got in that little fight in the background. Like, they would always be the ones fighting sort of like Knuckle and Cruncha, but in a less charming way. But, uh, Sigils of Forbidden's Benjutsu had Asidicus as a librarian, and that was pretty cool to see, just seeing that, like, the Serpentine live in a different way, so that made me like him more. And then, when Skaldor first appears and he, like, chokes Cole... And it that was a really cool entrance, so while I don't like him, for other reasons, I think he can stay in the don't feel strongly either way. Kozu, I, Kozu I don't like. He's funny, I guess, but he doesn't really work well as a main villain. Overlord, never appear again, I hate you, you're dumb. Like, <sighs> let me explain that more. I don't, he's just, his character is, I'm evil, I like being evil, like, it's just boring to me. I wish there was more to him. Same with Cryptor. He's just, I am a robot and evil. What's this, Mindroid? Nah. It's, it's just a poor attempt at a comic relief villain. Chen I love. Chen is, like, Chen's supposed to be a funny villain just like Mindroid, but he does it right. Like, he's still villainous. He's just sort of, like, crazy. Sort of, like, Chen reminds... <laughs> this is gonna sound really funny, but to me, Chen is Ninjago's Joker, right? He's got that crazy laugh, and he's got these crazy schemes, which are genuinely evil, right? But he's just got this... He's got such power that he's able to accomplish these things, and he was just a ton of fun. He's one of my favorite villains ever. I love Chen. I guess, you know, Chen will go up, and I love them a lot. Yeah, I like Chen. Same with Klaus. I think Klaus is a good... Uh, I think Klaus is a good foil to Chen, how Chen's in charge, but Klaus is clearly the smarter, more evil one of the two, and yeah, those those two work great together, and I love both of their characters, and I would love to see Klaus again. And also how Klaus was, like, the reason behind Nauticon and everything, like, it's it's just super cool that Tournament had such a big influence in the seasons that followed. Chop and Capel, I like. They're comic relief villains that are just fun. Like, I don't have a ton to say about them, but they are just fun. Moro is great. Uh, Moro, I'll put him in pretty darn good. Well, he's definitely a better villain than Chen. In terms of my personal preference, I prefer Chen and Klaus, but I will say objectively Moro is the better villain. His backstory of, like, thinking he was the Green Ninja and, like, Wu telling him he was, was, it's a super interesting concept. And then just being the master of wind and everything, he was, he was a very, like, threatening villain that season, and yeah, he's a, he's a good character. Soul Archer was cool, I guess, because he had that whole thing with Ronin of being like, 
Ronan was in debt to him. That made him interesting. Uh, Bansha is her name? I'll put her here just because I really like her minifigure. I don't even remember this guy's name, so I'll just put him in. Uh, sure, I don't feel strongly either way. And then Goltar, I don't like. He was he was another comic relief villain, but it, it wasn't really that charming. It was just sort of annoying and weird. Nauticon is perfect. I think he's an excellent villain. Um, I guess I never mention him when I talk about like my top villains, but the doing a Jin as a villain, I think, is super hard to accomplish because Jin, like, the concept of a genie, like a wish granter, like, I feel like that's super hard to pull off. But Skybound did it perfectly, and I think Nauticon's an excellent character, and I would love to see him return. Flintlock, I love. I think his dynamic with Nauticon and with the rest of the Sky Pirates and with uh. Jay and the rest of Ninja at the end was super cool and just seeing his arc just like changing from this just Nauticon's drone to being the one to ultimately shoot the bullet to defeat Nauticon. It was cool to see see how he changed and I just I loved his voice and everything about him. Uh, Flintlock was fun. I love Clancy. I love Clancy so much. He's not a great character but just the idea of a Serpentine that like left the tribes because he didn't fit in. He's just he's really really fun to me like he's goofy he's silly but he also has the uh emotional side to him when he talks about his backstory and he just wants to be friends with everybody and he enjoyed he like genuinely enjoyed like doing the grunt work on the boat it was pretty cool i i love i love clancy dog shank i like i think she fits in with the other sky pirates really well but her in particular i don't feel strong about i liked her dynamic with nia but other than that mm, she's fine the balloon, same thing. I like the concept behind him, right? He wished, uh, I forget what his wish was, but he eventually had his, uh, he was not able to talk because of his wish, and that's why he is the way he is. And I think he's a great villain design. He's just not as interesting as the other ones to me. Uh, Crux, I like the idea of the time twins, right? Time, like, time as an element is cool, and the, the way they use the time element is super cool to me, but I don't like Crux as a character. He is just a boomer. He's just, I hate iPads iPad's bad. Like, that's his entire character. And uh, Acronix is not my... Acronix is better. When he fights Wu in the beginning scene of, uh, of Hands of Time, he's pretty good. But then but then when he's just like the foil to Crux, where he's just like, oh, I love iPads and headphones. Like, they leaned way too heavily into that. And it kind of ruined these two as... Vil like, they felt like the comic really fell into one. These two down here were the comic really filmed, so yeah. Makia, I don't care for. She's one of the, she's a really cool character design. I love her character design, but as a character, it was weird how Chronix had a crush on her because she was a bunch of snakes. I'm, Hands of Time was a weird season, <laughs> and these two can never appear again. I do not care for these two at all. I don't even remember their name. Blunk and Ragmunk, right? I don't even know which one's which. They're not good. They're I, Vermilion as a concept are cool, but these two are just comic relief villains, and mm, no, they did not. They did not work at all. Harumi, perfect. I love Harumi. Perfect character. Wait, is oh wait, is Sensei Garmadon is Garmadon on this? Uh, can I add a character to this? Okay, wait. So if the, if Sensei Garmadon is supposed to represent all Garmadons, then. Uh, the Lord Garmadon would go into the perfect tier as well, because Lord Garmadon is an excellent villain with such an interesting and dynamic concept of him, like, trying to, he's, like, born to be evil, and he's this evil character, but then he also loves his family, and he loves his son, and he doesn't want to hurt him, but he sort of has to. That's such an interesting character, and he's so, like, threatening and ominous. I love Garmadon. Lord Garmadon would go in the perfect tier, but Sensei Garmadon stays down here. But yeah, Harumi, her backstory is perfect, the way she... Uh, tricks all the ninjas perfectly the way she brings back Garmadon. I love Harumi. Wonderful character. And then her sacrifice at the end is just... Oh my goodness. Like, I... She is the best character in Ninjago. She goes here. Like, she's the best character to ever be in Ninjago. Killo is cool. He's probably the least interesting of the... Yeah, I'll put him in the I like them here. He's probably the least interesting of the SOG, like, uh, bosses. But he's still cool. And he's, uh... I don't know, I like all the SOG, and he's an important part. He's just not as interesting as uh, Mr. E or Ultraviolet. Speaking of Ultraviolet, she... I love Ultraviolet. She's... I love how, like, crazy she is, right? She's got her laugh that she always does, and she's just really fun. And I have to zoom out now because the chart is getting too big. 
All right, Fugidove, I like. Fugidove's probably the best part of Season 11. <laughs> He's fun. I like him. He's funny. It's really ridiculous, but in a good way. I like him a lot. Mechanic, uh... Mechanic, I guess... I'll put him here with Soto. I think these two go together, and I feel like they're very important parts of, like, building the Ninjago world, but as characters themselves, I don't care too much about them. I would love a... Uh, mechanic minifigure though and I like how I like how he's never been the main villain but he's been around since season 6 right is when he first appeared I think that's super cool Mr. E I love I think he would be perfect if he was Echo Zane like if they did reveal that these two are the same character he would belong in this tier but as he is he's still just super super ominous with his just bright red, red eyes and I love that character Iron Baron meh he served his purpose in Hunted to be, like, the driving force to stop the ninja from getting home, but as a character, he's not the most interesting. Omega, I'm okay with. To me, Omega is just the Overlord, but done right. The Overlord, I felt, was too goofy, right? The first time he came around, he was just a... He turned Garmin into a dragon man, and then the second time rebooted, he was a sludge that Pythor ate. Omega was genuinely scary and, like, the fact that he wasn't just like this random being out of nowhere, the fact that they set up that, hey, Oni exist, they're these bringers of darkness, like, March the Oni could have done the whole Oni bit better, but Omega as a character I think was good. Both Asphira and Char are going on this tier as well, I guess this tier is going to be really big. Uh, I like them as characters, I think they're, again, I'm saying it, I think they're very fun, <laughs> But they're not the most interesting or deep villains, right? Someone like uh, Nauticon or Harumi or Moro. They're all, like, way more deep and interesting than uh, Estriel and Char are. But I still like them as characters, and I think they're a lot of fun to have in the Ninjago universe. Unigami, I think, is pretty darn good. I think he is... The backstory behind him, how he is a, essentially a sentient game, and he came to life, and he's just... He wanted to be free, right? Because he was rejected by his creator. That's just a really interesting concept, and I really like how Ninjago pulled it off. Vex. Oh, Vex is a good character, but I hate him. <laughs> he's like a well-designed character, but he's not a villain that, like... It's hard to describe, because... I hate, I hate his personality, but that's because he's well done. Like, it's hard to say. Like, I don't like him as a person, but as a character... He's well, he's well made, so I guess, I guess he'll go there. He's a very, he's a very well made villain. He's just, I hate him. I can't stand him. <laughs> but I can't stand him because of what he did to Zane, not because of like, oh, I think he's badly written. Like I, like I think about these guys, like I think, like these two tiers, like I do not like, I do not enjoy their characters in the show. While I do not enjoy Vex, I think he was very important in making that season interesting at all. So I guess he'll go here. Gitaro, eh. Yeah. Yang is cool. He it's cool he was in possession, then he came back in Day of the Departed. And now he was the one who turned Cole into a ghost and then eventually freed him. He was cool, but irrelevant. Craig, now get get out of here. I know we have I know who uh D Tanaglia Studios, Dan, he was he's a big fan of Craig, but mm, no. Actually I'm gonna put him right here so it can be in the thumbnail. <laughs> I do not like Craig. Like I understand that Ninjago is a kid's show, and I don't care. I don't care when they do childish jokes, but Craig was too childish for me. He was over the top, and he was just like, who put this in the show? Who thought that was a good idea? I hate Craig. I can't stand Craig. Samukai? Ooh, Samukai subreddit. Uh, of course, obviously, I put him in perfect here, right? No, um... I like Samukai. He, I mean, we only saw him in the pilot, so he didn't do much, but trying to betray Garmin on everything was cool. And then he's just got a cool character design, him with the four, ar four arms, and how he tried to betray Garmin on, and that was ultimately his downfall because he couldn't hold all four weapons at once. Uh, Crunch and Knuckle will go up here in I Love Them tier because, well, no, they're not. Wait, where did, where did Knuckle go? Yeah, Crunch and Knuckle will go up here in I Love Them a lot tier because, no, I'm not saying they're better characters than Jay or Cole or Lloyd. Like, these guys are better characters, but I just got such a special place in my heart for these guys. I would love to see them again. And they just, they make me happy. They're just funny. They're fun. And I love them. Racer 7 was cool. Uh, Racer 7 was really cool. It's just like, where did I put Okino? Um, actually, no, I'm going to move, 
I'm going to be Racer 7 down to I like them and Okino up. Because same reason that I said earlier about Okino, Racer 7 does the same things, but just not as well as Okino does. And yeah, it's just cool seeing an NPC just like try to grapple with the fact that they are an NPC. And I liked her character a lot. It was cool how she did that. Vanya was fun. I'm saying again, she was fun. She was very lively, energetic, and I like how she helped... Uh, mend Wu and Cole's relationship and how she dro helped drive the plot of Master of the Mountain forward. Skull Sorcerer, eh, I don't really feel that strongly about him. He was, he was a very, he served a very important role in Master of the Mountain just like Iron Baron did and I love the character design of him. But as a character, he was just uninteresting. Same thing with King Vangelis, which I don't know why they're separate here because spoilers, they're the same character. Yeah, they're just... I, I just feel like there wasn't enough going on with them. I feel like there could have been more backstory behind them. But I feel like they were very important factors in uh, driving the plot of the story forward. Okay, let's see. Do I remember the names of the upload? We have Plundar. Plundar, I like. His whole, like, dice rolling thing was funny, but that was that was the only thing. The, I think I prefer the other two upload. Uh, yeah, we'll say... Oh, goodness. What are their names? I know this is Fungus, and this is Corgran. Uh, Corgrin I liked. I like how he further expanded the Metalonia lore, but even still, I think he only goes there. Same with Fungus. I, I think all three of these guys are really fun, and I would love to see him again, and I'm surprised how much I liked these characters, but, um, do they go there? Yeah, I think they go here. If we saw, if we see them more in the future, they might move up, but I think they're just really, really creative, really unique, and really fun. Cole's mom's pretty, pretty darn good. Like, she did not appear that much, but the purpose she served in the story. Like, I really like what they revealed about her. She seems to be a really cool character. And then the Falcon is perfect. <laughs> uh, okay. So there is my final tier list of every Ninjago character. Or not every single one, but all the ones that are on this tier list tier maker. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my picks in the comments. Uh, I'm sure some of these will be controversial. Um, and as I said, this is Sensei Garmadon here. If I, if normal Garmadon, Lord Garmadon was here, he would be in the perfect tier. Just Sensei Garmadon, I'm not a huge fan of. But yeah, I think this video has been long enough. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please leave a like on this video. And if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new, I do Lego videos like this every single day. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.